Refactoring with introduce variable allows you to replace expressions in your code with temporary variables to improve readability. The temporary variables are initialized in the current scope with names that describe the code it replaces. Take a look at the expression for this if statement. This expression isn't easily deciphered, so I'm going to select this first section, access my Shift-Alt-Q menu, and choose Introduce Variable. I'll give my new variable a name that describes the code it's replacing. Then I'll do the same thing here. And now let's read the expression. If game is not started and game widget state is paused, then don't pause the game. Otherwise, pause the game. Now my if statement reads much clearer. Notice that Visual Assist determines the appropriate type for the variable based on your selection and it removes residual parentheses no longer needed. Let's look at another use case for introduce variable. This method returns a baseline score multiplied by 100, but what is 100? You can use introduce variable on constants to make their meaning clear. When I select 100 and choose introduce variable, you see that const int is already determined. I'll name it, and now the return value is clear. But we can do even more. If I select this expression, I can make another variable to further clarify the return value. You can also use introduce variable to replace multiple occurrences of the same expression within a scope. Notice here how set track is used three times as an argument for resize. I'm going to select the first occurrence of my expression so that each in this scope will be replaced. Introduce variable assumes you have other plans for any occurrences that appear before your selection and only replaces the ones that follow your selection. Here, you see the menu gives me the option to replace three times. Introduce variable will automatically insert braces if they're necessary to include the newly created variable in the current scope. I'll create a new variable here and notice the braces are inserted. Depending on your style, you may want to change the location where the braces are inserted. You can do so on the code generation page in Visual Assist options. Introduce variable can also capture a method's return value when the text caret is placed anywhere on the method call or in leading white space. In addition, introduce variable is able to suggest a meaningful name by default. Take a look at this method call. When I place the caret anywhere on the text and select introduce variable, notice a name relating to the method is automatically suggested. If I select that, I've now introduced a variable to capture a method's return value. Thank you for watching.